Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today we're gonna to be drawing this cute little winter bird together today. Uh, so I used a smaller piece of paper, as you can see. It's what I had around and I have a lot of it, so I wanted to use it up. Now you guys can use anything that you have close to you. You can use computer paper works great, back of wrapping paper, really anything to make your art on, okay? Once you get your paper, you'll need something to draw with. So I used a black crayon to get started today, uh, but you could start with pencil. And then you'll need to decide what you want to use to add color. So I used markers and then watercolor background, uh, but you could continue to use crayons if you start with a crayon or maybe you'd want to use colored pencils, whatever is close and easiest for you. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have my paper and my crayon ready to go. Uh, I have a smaller piece of paper here because this is what I have at my house and I'm going to use a crayon instead of a Sharpie today. Uh, you guys can always start with a pencil and then go over your lines later with a dark darker line so that's why i'm using a crayon so you guys can see it a bit better and we have those nice dark lines okay i'm gonna go ahead and get started with our bird by starting with the hat so we're gonna i'm gonna start kind of far up on my paper Let's see maybe right about here on the rainbow shape just kind of like that oops and then I'm going to add two lines underneath. And connect them at the end. And then on top, I'm gonna to add a little ball. All right, now that I have the hat, I'm gonna move on to the head. So for the head, I'm gonna start with a line that curves down a bit, right there, and stop. And then a little bit of a shorter line right here, okay? And then we're gonna add the scarf, and this is gonna separate our head from the body of our bird. So we're gonna add kind of a curved line, just like that, and we're gonna do another one underneath and connect on each side. And then to go ahead and make this look a bit more like a bird, let's go ahead and add the beak and the eye. So I'm gonna add a line that comes out and kind of down towards this corner of my paper, and one that comes up to meet it, and then line down the center. And then I'm gonna add the eye circle with another circle in the middle. Looks like he's kind of looking down at something. Maybe there's a worm down there in the snow. All right, next we are going to add the body. So I'm going to take a line and curve it back this direction and up. So it curves down and back up. And then I'm going to take another line that meets it right over here and connects. Okay. Now that I have that line, I'm going to go ahead and add some legs. You can keep them simple with a line, but I'm going to add a bit more form to mine so that I can color them in later. So I'm going to do two lines down and then three little V's, two, three. Two lines down and then three V's, one V, two, and three. Okay, let's go ahead and give him a wing. So I'm going to do a line that curves back like this and then another line that meets it okay and then I'm gonna add a couple little lines for texture for the feathers and then I'm gonna add some um, I'm, I'm gonna make this scarf look like it's hanging down so I'm gonna add two lines that come out like this I'm gonna connect at the end I like to add a little fringe sometimes and I'm gonna add another one as well over here. So two lines and some fringe. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some tail feathers because he looks like he's missing his little bird tail. So I'm gonna add a line that goes up and curve back in. And, oops, just broke my crown. Nope. And back in, out back in for a little tail feather. All right, he's looking really cute. Uh, there's one thing I want to do to mine though. I think he looks a little plain with just the solid um, hat and scarf, so I'm going to add a pattern to each. I'm going to add some lines for my hat, and then I think I'm going to have a polka dot scarf. Don't forget the little parts that hang down. And then I think some more stripes on the hat. There we go, there he is. And I'm gonna add a few more details. I'm gonna add a little line so he's standing in some snow. And then later when I color it in or paint it, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, I'll add some snow falling around him. All right. Okay, so I have my bird, we finished drawing. 
Uh, I think I'm going to color, what do I have closest to me? Let's see, I have some markers that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna pull those out and decide what color I want my bird. I think I wanna do a little blue bird. I'm gonna start with this blue I have. And get them some color. I'm probably gonna speed the part, um, this part up, because it is gonna take me quite a little bit to color my bird in completely. So I'm gonna speed this up. You, of course, can color your bird however you would like. You can make them a, a cardinal would be really pretty, so you would use red, or you can make him any color. Maybe he's a little canary and you wanna use some yellow for him. All right, I'm gonna speed this up and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so I got my little bird all colored in this fun little scarf and hat. Um, I am probably gonna watercolor the background. Of course, you don't have to, you could color it, but I did wanna kind of hop on and remind you guys of the cool trick that you can do. If you wanted to make it look like it was snowing, you could use a white crayon, which I'm kind of, oh, here's one. Let's see. Let's see a white crayon. And you could add just little dots. I know you can't see them showing up right now, on my screen, but in just a second, I'll paint over. And of course that's gonna show through your watercolor because it's the uh, watercolor resist effect. So the wax will mix with the water and this will show through and make it look like it's snowing. All right. All right, so now I have um, added all the little white dots with the crayon and I'm gonna paint my background next. So since I did a blue bird, I'm not gonna do a blue background. I think I'm gonna switch it up and do a kind of a darker purple over here. All right, I'm using a lot of cool colors on my little bird today. Here we go. You can kind of see them showing up. Oops, I got too many paintbrushes. and I got it all done. I didn't do too many little snow dots. If I were to go back, I would go back and add a few more next time. It was kind of hard to see it, but it really wasn't showing up on my paper. Um, but you could do as many as you would like. All right, and there's our little winter bird. I hope you guys had fun following along and I can't wait to see y'all when we get back.